I call the 90-90 stretch. 90-90 because it's 90 degrees in hip and 90 degrees in the knee. So you'll see 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And this is a good way to start, depending on your flexibility of your hips. And uh, you know, if it doesn't happen right away, just do your best to get close to the 90-90 levels. Good. Okay. And then slowly, whichever leg is in front, I want you to twist around past the knee. So away from the foot on the front side, twist around past the knee. And you can have different hand placements. Your hand can be on your knee and on the ground. Oh yeah, I uh, just get a little lumbar motion there. That was good. Ah. Excellent, yeah. So of course, I see a lot of you doing this correctly already, keeping your chest high with a twist. You lengthen the spine and then twist. That's always the safest way. Easing into it, taking a few breaths. Looking good. Excellent. And then let's slowly switch over to the other side. What I do is just flip my feet over like this turn my body around and you've got the other side. So 90-90. Then from here, you do your best. What I do with my bottom hand, the hand that's on, you can actually even put both hands on the ground and push it to where you lengthen the spine and you sit up extra tall, chest high to start. I'll even, you can even push so the bottom comes off, that's optional, but I push sometimes until my bottom comes off the ground and I know I've lengthened my entire area. And then from there, you twist over past the knee. Awesome. So you should feel this twist down towards your lumbar area. And this is always a good setup if your hips don't have a lot of flexibility. This is a substitute for our next exercise, which will be the Cairo Pigeon. So I call it the Cairo Pigeon because it's based off the pigeon pose from yoga. But uh, it's different because I want to do a corrective motion for somebody's hips. Normally the hips have a twist to them one way or the other. So when you're doing a correction, you need to prioritize one side. And for whatever reason it is, it ends up being the right leg forward on most cases. I don't know if it's the driving or the tilts of the roads or the gas pedal where it is, or I don't know the reason why for sure. All I know is that right leg forward is the how we'll be starting, and that's over 80% of the cases. So like the 90-90, but what I'll do on this one is I'll take that back leg and slide it back as far as you possibly can without hurting yourself. <laughs> So back leg goes way back. That's good. Good. And if you're able to, front knee is bent. If not, modify the posture as necessary. And then from here, you do the same kind of motion. What I want to have you do is push off the ground and lengthen yourself taller. And then you twist over the right side of the knee. And then what I'll do is I'll take an extra twist to the right, and then the mental exercise of this, the concentration, is to use your abdominal core area and use that 
to untwist your hips. So what you want to have is the right side of the hip, you're twisting it back. And the left side of the hip, you're twisting it forward. So I'll come, I'll come by and make sure these hips are going the right direction. It takes a little mental work, but use your abdominals, do a light contraction, and twist it back on the right hip, forward on the left. Another part of this, which you can do as early as now, is shift up so your glute comes off the ground and you're on your legs up like so. So that's more of the advanced.